Hello everybody! Welcome to Tech Talk and Touchscreens. A show where we talk about everything related to smartphone news. I am Faik. And I am Jason. And together, we are two celebrities not famous enough to have our own TV shows. But desperate enough to do videos like these. I wanted to be a musician. <laughs> uh, anyway, these are the top three news items related to smartphones as voted by you in an online poll. First, we have to touch on the untouchable Samsung Galaxy Note 7. In literally explosive news, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 users have reported sufferings from third-degree burns and horrific injuries. And these are just resulting from the beatings they received from Apple fanboys for using a phone other than an iPhone. I think this is a revolutionary feature for Samsung. Why do you say that, Faye? Because if you watch movies, right, the terrorists always use the phone as a detonator. Right? Mm -hmm. To call the phone and then the bomb explodes. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, you have the detonator and the bomb into one device. This makes it a perfect gift to give to people you absolutely hate. Oh my god, I didn't know the phone was going to explode in your face! Wait a second. You got me a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 for my birthday. Hey, you think you can do the show alone, huh? Just, just read the news. Your turn. On to our next story. It is about the Huawei's latest offering, the P9 Leica smartphone combo. Now, the P9 Leica has a traditional 12 megapixel camera, and next to it, another 12 megapixel monochrome camera, giving it an unsurpassed depth of field. Working together, it creates great contrast, and the light information is tripled received to the device, making it an amazing camera for low light conditions. It is, by all accounts, the greatest camera in a smartphone. It even took this particular photo. Actually, it wasn't taken by the P9 Leica at all. Netizens checked the EXIF metadata and found out that that particular photo was taken by Canon EOS 5D Mark III. I mean, why would you do that? You already have a P9 Leica. You don't need a DSLR. Exactly. It's like you're already going out with somebody, but you take a photo of model, where you could have just taken a photo of the person you're already going out with. <laughs> yeah, my wife does that, you know. What do you mean? No, I mean, my wife, she's a joker. She doesn't show photos of me to her relatives or loved ones. Uh, she shows photos of uh, PSY or Kim Jong-un when he was younger. Why? I don't know, she just doesn't want to show my photo to her family. Is she embarrassed of you? I don't know. Moving on now to a new story where Google's latest smartphone, the Google Pixel, was hacked in under one minute. Apparently, Google has offered up to 120,000 American dollars or 70 billion ringgit to whomever who could hack their smartphone. And a team of hackers from China calling themselves Chi Ho did that in under one minute. But these were white hat hackers, otherwise known as ethical hackers. And they have shared the exploits to Google. And this is quite amazing considering that there are a lot of people willing to compromise Google security for free. That one time when hackers gained access to a US cabinet official's Gmail account. Or when Google desktop was revealed to be a spyware risk for users. Even in privacy issues, Google has been very problematic. Google Street View showing views of private homes. Google TV preventing people from installing security software. In fact, there are over 35 privacy scandals involving Google alone. <laughs> Hello? You're from Google? How? I have to stop recording? But how did you know I was... Re Wait, how did you get into my browser history? I... No, that was in incognito mode. How did you know I was... Someone from Google just said that they will share all the photos of myself. Huh? All the photos I took of my... How did they get your photos? From Google Drive. All hail Google, our overlord. Google is our savior. Google will show us the way. Google is the light in the darkness. So that's all the smartphone news we're touching on today. The year 2017 will be exciting for smartphones. But you can still vote on the top smartphone news of 2016 at the link below. And don't forget to leave a comment. Till next time, I'm Faik. And I am Jason. Bye-bye. Hey, wait lah. The naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more